Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we are going to start a series on who is Allah? How can we know Allah? Why do we mention Him so much? You know, throughout our whole entire life, we mention Allah in the most smallest of things to the biggest of things. When we graduate, we say Alhamdulillah. When we see something, something great, we say Subhanallah. When we think that something is going to happen in the future, we say Insha'Allah. When we think of something we, and we want it to bless them, we say MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. Why do we mention Allah so much? And who is Allah? Allah is uh, who we believe to be God. But not only do we use this name for Allah, but Allah, we know that He has 99 names and more. A lot of scholars have differed on the di a different 99 names because there's way more mentioned in the Quran and Sunnah. But we know that the, from the hadith of the Prophet وسلم, for us to know Allah is only through Allah giving us a little bit of information of Him. We know that Allah exists and we know that Allah has many names, more than 99 as mentioned. We know that Allah is Ar Rahman, we know that He's Ar Rahim, we know that He's Al Wudud, He's you know, Al Khalil, and He's Al Salam, and He's Al Mu'min, Al Muhaymin, all these names. But what does these things mean? We know that there's a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in which when he was praising Allah, he says that, Oh Allah, I do not know how to praise you except for how you praise your own self. And so through this, we know that the only way to know Allah and the only way to praise Allah is through the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Quran. And we know that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam does not speak out of his own desires, right? As mentioned in Surah Najm. And so we know that anything that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says about Allah is from Allah as well through wahi, i.e. revelation, or through anything that the angel Jibreel السلام, also says to him. And so who is Allah? Allah is our God. We believe that Allah is one, as mentioned in Surah Al-Ikhlas, where he says, Qul, Allahu Ahad. He says that, say, O Prophet Muhammad وسلم, that Allah is one. He also says that Allahu Samad, that he is the eternal one. Lam yalid wa lam yulad which basically means that he does not beget nor is he begotten. Meaning that he does not give offspring, he, does, he doesn't have a son or a daughter, nor does, was he ever born. And there is nothing unto him uh, like him. And so this is who Allah is. And the only way to know him is to increase yourself in knowledge. And is to increase yourself in understanding Allah through the Quran. So you have to read the Quran a little bit more to understand him. And through learning the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you can also know Allah. But also on top of this, we have the sayings of the Sahaba, the sayings of the Salaf, the sayings of all the predecessors that came after them and our scholars today. Because Allah says that if you want to know anything, you say, uh, That if you don't know something, ask the people of knowledge. And who are the people of knowledge? The scholars who have inherited this knowledge from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam till now. And we know that there's a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in which he says that none of you truly believe until you love me more than you love your own self. And this seems a little bit weird. Umar al Khattab actually says this is weird to me. Because, oh Prophet of Allah, I love you more than my wife. I love you more than my children. I love you more than anything else. And so Umar al Khattab asks, how can I love you more than love myself? I understand loving you more than these others, but loving you, it just doesn't make sense to me. So he laughs at him and, and he smiles and says, Oh, Umar al-Khattab, if you were to you know, go into battle, would you protect me? He says, yes, of course I would. Would you put your life in front of mine? And he says, yes, of course I would. And he says, of course, this is the way that you will love me more than you love yourself. And we know that Allah is al-Wudud, the most loving and the one who deserves the love the most. And so because Allah is the creator of love, we can only love that which who created love itself. Because we have the ability to love because of him. And so this is who Allah is. Allah is the most merciful. He is the most loving and he's everything that you can think of imagining of good. And on top of that, everything that you owe is to him. And so this is who Allah is. He is our Lord. He is our Rabb and we praise Him and we make sure that every second of our life is devoted only to Him. So remember, this Ramadan is yours, theirs and ours.
ويسألونك عن الروح قل الروح من أمر ربي وما أوتيتم من العلم إلا قليلاً 